happened was mm -hmm. they're just like, I think we're just going to get this bus. I think this is going to be our big thing. And what happened was there was a beat cop that was on duty that night. And they ended up shooting that beat cop, if I remember right. And what my thought was, was maybe these guys who thought that they were going to get this big bust, maybe they were the guys who actually sent the big, the actual first letter. Hmm. And they were kind of undercover. You know, they were cops. Because what happened after that was nobody heard from this gang again. Okay. So you following that, Gavin? Yeah, yeah, I'm following that. What do you think of that? Before we go any further into yeah. this, let, let me clarify, too, that what there is no evidence at all to suggest anything she just said. Okay? <laughs> right. Right. So no. where we are not, we did not do a comprehensive right. investigation yeah. and come up with this, this thing. This is pure hypo... You know, specul and, speculation. Yeah. yeah, it just, it just to me, all of a sudden, I'm thinking, like, did anybody ever look into these guys? And they probably didn't because they're like, well, they're police guys, no big deal, whatever. It has to, they have to be clear. Mm -hmm. But to me, I'm thinking, well, they, they were just there, and nobody looked into why they were there. They just thought, okay, they're going to get this big bus. Why were they there? And could it have been them? Because afterwards, it all stopped. So now, and when I thought about this theory, one of the number one things I come up with, though, with this is that if they are the, the triangle, triangle gang, gang or whatever. whatever they were called, if that's who these two cops were, why did they come out guns a blazing when the people showed up? Yeah. That's the only thing yeah, I can think of because in theory, you would have just high t laid low and waited for the and waited for the cops to mm -hmm. or waited for the money to be dropped off go pick the money up take off right in theory that's what you would do unless you would they had mm -hmm. already decided because because if i remember right they sent multiple letters and the first one was just completely ignored right and right. then the second one was when they actually got the cops involved and went there I'm curious, Gavin. I know this is a hard thing for you to do because you, yeah. you're all about evidence, <laughs> but but it does raise an interesting because it does make yeah. a lot of sense that they just showed up there to get the big bus, but also it does make just as much sense that they could have actually been right. the Triangle Gang. Right. It is interesting. As I recall, the story is these guys overheard it in the police station and they weren't supposed to overhear it. And then they decided on their own to kind of show up and, and make the bust. But we all, we only kind of know that like after the fact mm -hmm. um, and everything. So the story of them overhearing it in the police station, like we don't know that that happened. Right. So that does open the possibility that they heard it from another source, such as they did it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did it exactly. or, uh, or they were working with the yeah Triangle gang whatever it might have been that's true so there's definitely that possibility is there eric i think you make a really good point about the shooting thing yeah. now because it is weird because again as i recall they basically said like you know put your hands up freeze and they start shooting which doesn't really make a lot of sense for them to do as the bad guys yeah that right. that in that and that is true if they came out out acting as cops then they, i think that that kind of throws the this story into a loop like it it probably was more like they were just trying to bust this up with yeah them. so that's yeah that is a tricky part of it but i don't think it's a bad theory i think there's definitely like Putting me in this position again, where you're, <laughs> where you're, where you're like, you're like, oh, we got a trick of just saying something bad about the the cops. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It was just, it was just something that came up, and I'm like, well, well, everything stopped after this. Like, why were they there? There's just, there's just an alternate theory of, of well, these guys could have been. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And I mean, the whole thing is weird. We don't know why the guy who was targeted was targeted. We don't know why he was apparently the only guy who was targeted. Mm -hmm. We don't know why they just disappeared after this incident. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of questions, and um, it does leave open a lot of possibilities for And it almost does, things. It does seem like the fact that they never struck again mm -hmm. being would be that along the theory of that, that they realized, well, that didn't work 
quite the way we expected right. it to work, yeah. which would suggest that, you know, these these weren't, well, I mean, unless it was just somebody playing a gag on these people and sending them letters saying, you're yeah. going to die unless you give us all this money. But I don't know. That just seems like a, like maybe one letter. But the yeah. fact that, that they followed up at it on a second time, there was some intent there. Yeah, I think it was serious. You know, and... And then to never do it again would just suggest that they, it went horribly awry, Mm -hmm. which, but then again, maybe they were, maybe these two cops were in one shrub and the actual guys were in another, hiding behind (laughs) another shrub. They They watched all this happen and then they're like, let's get the hell out of here. What did we just do? (laughs) You know? I mean. (laughs) I'm not going to take the risk next time I could get shot off. Yeah, I don't know. It's, you know. It's it's one of like the the many many things where I wish we had more of the records. Like these records are long gone. Yeah, we could get a few more pieces of the puzzle here that you know didn't make you know the newspapers and everything else. But it definitely, I mean, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions and, here. Right. And I think it is also fair to to say that even though because like you said with this, you don't have the police files, correct? Right. This was just coming out of that that book. Yeah, nobody and has them as far as so, I know. It is also reasonable to assume that the fact that there were two cops there that did not, that shouldn't have been there. Mm-hmm. I would like to think that the police department at least looked into that to verify that, that okay, yeah. were they just acting, mali- you know, like doing something they weren't supposed to do as cops to get, yeah. to get a pat on the shoulder? Or could they have potentially been part of this? I would like to think that the police department looked into that at least right. and followed right. that lead just to make sure. And we just don't know that because, like, it's just probably a little side note right. in the police report and obviously wouldn't make it into this book. Or maybe this author that wrote this book that we this story came from didn't even have that police report. Right. So. Well, the author didn't have the police report either. That the, I, the author, I, okay. I can tell you they didn't have it either. either. So and yeah, and there's questions, and you got to also come back. Like, really have to think the time period, how different this time period is. Mm-hmm. In the same episode, there was a cop who was doing his job out of uniform, right? Because apparently he wasn't issued his uniform yet. This is before they had the radios in their cars, so they can't even talk to each other. They'd have to stop at like a a bar and call back to the station or something. This is a very different era of how police work. This is like absolute bare minimum. Like the and these are not highly trained guys. I'm sure they have the shooting range and they get trained in that way, but there's no law enforcement academy, academy and yeah. stuff like that that you're going through. Yeah, and I think you bring up a really good point there too, is because. I mean, this seems really suspicious when we think of our era of police right. force. If you take it back to when it was, right. maybe this is like maybe a cop that was an officer on a police force at in this era would be like, no, shit like that happened all the time. <laughs> you know, like right. the, this isn't uncommon at all. But I thought it was worth at least doing a quick episode to just bring that theory to to the forefront because i thought it was kind of a an interesting theory that we didn't even touch on in the original podcast it is an interesting theory and yeah i mean i wish there were there were ways to really explore it (laughs) like i don't know like i don't know how to how to really look into that much more i guess i guess what i could do i mean i can't do it here at this moment i mean we could look into those guys more and see whatever became of them and I think that yeah, that would be an interesting thing to see is if if there's any trail of maybe maybe you follow their trail down and you find a, a bunch of police conspiracy you know fraud or something that yeah. they commit later on in life. Yeah, maybe that later on they're embezzling and they get get <laughs> let go from the department and it's like oh okay these guys were kind of shady. I don't know. Yeah. And so. so maybe there's there's some clues we can pick up there, but just based off the story as I know it. I don't know. There's just, there's too many possibilities. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that was just a quick little episode we wanted to drop and throw this theory out for anybody to hear. If you do have a, if you do have your own like feelings about this theory, hey, send us an email. Yeah. MilwaukeeMafia at gmail.com. We'd love to hear 
what other people think. 